There are different kinds of brain tumors. It's important to discriminate between primary brain cancer, which is a tumor that's born in the brain, and that's actually pretty rare. And then there's metastatic brain cancer, which is five times more common. Part of what makes cancer cancer is that it has the ability to spread throughout the body. So the tumor might start in the breast and it, it gets to a certain size and it, it develops some mutations and then the cell will split off, get into the blood and then stop somewhere in the brain and, and deposit inside the brain and, and form other tumors. And that would be the process of metastasizing. There is a blood-brain barrier and that barrier works very well at keeping toxins and infections and other things floating around through our blood out of the brain. But cancer has developed a mechanism which it can penetrate that barrier. And certain cancers in particular are better at penetrating it than others, which is why we tend to see most metastatic tumors from lung cancer, breast cancer, melanoma, and testicular cancer. If you remove one of these metastatic tumors from the brain with surgery and you look at it under a microscope, it looks like the cancer from the original source. So a breast cancer metastasis looks like abnormal breast tissue rather than brain tissue. They're growing into a ball of cells that is the cancer, but they're not incorporating themselves into the brain. They're unwanted neighbors, if you will. Our goal is to find those tumors early, because as the tumors get bigger, the success rates drop. Typically, with radiosurgery, people have quoted success rates at stopping a brain tumor in the range of 85%. So when we say, how do we get that to 95%, to 98%, to 99%, it's with identifying the tumors earlier. And that means getting a periodic brain scan to check. Because missing a brain tumor, uh, if it grows, can cause neurologic symptoms that we'd like to avoid.